so hello everyone welcome to winning waves youtube channel as we already know that ibps rrb notification is out let's cover few of the questions from the section called reasoning from which we can attempt maximum number of questions such that you will be getting maximum number of answers without any uh, disturbance or without any uh, with maximum accuracy with respect to these kinds of questions okay so let's see how we can solve these kinds of questions i have brought different different topics for you so let's see what are those topics that are covered in this particular session okay so first one is nothing but the concept of series so this is nothing but we can say letter series number series alphabetical series mixed linear series etc okay so from this i have brought some questions then topic number 2 directions and distance we already know that this is very easy chapter from which we can expect maximum number of questions then question number uh, concept number 3 sitting arrangement so i have brought one more question from sitting arrangement then the other one is based on inequalities we all know that this is very easy particular uh, concept from which we can uh, attempt maximum number of questions with in time okay and last one is based on data sufficiency so the, these five chapters we will be covering in today's session so let's dive in with respect to each and every question okay so question number 1 i have brought for you with respect to the concept of series right so just look at the question so here i have few of the numbers 745 okay 682 534 428 and 391 okay so just look at the question if one is added to the last digit of every odd number and one is subtracted from the last digit of every even number okay so if the digit is odd add plus 1 to the last if the digit is even then subtract minus 1 from that particular number then what will be the difference between lowest odd number and lowest even number okay so first let me uh, frame the numbers according to the question that has been given so we already know that 745 is a is an odd number so odd number means add plus 1 okay so 745 becomes 746 okay then 682 is an even number so subtracted one is subtracted from last digit of every even number so this becomes 681 then 534 534 is an even so remove 533 428 is also even so 428 why because minus 1 then 391 is an odd so it becomes 392 why because odd plus 1 right so what he is doing what he is asking what will be the difference between lowest odd number and lowest even number thus formed we already know that lowest odd number is hmm out of these what are the odd numbers means you can say 681 is odd 533 is odd and 427 is odd so 427 is that odd which is lowest and lowest even 392 746 out of these two the lowest is 392 so 392 we need the get the difference so 7 minus 2 5 so 1 12 12 minus 9 3 so our answer is 35 so we need to make this in a simple manner remember that okay so chalo let's go for next question question number 2 so just look at this question if the position of first and second digits of each and every number are interchanged okay then which of the following will be the difference between so let me change the color yeah okay so which of the following will be the difference between the highest and between the highest and second highest number okay so what he is telling he is telling to interchange first and second digits so 745 becomes 475 682 becomes 862 534 becomes 354 428 becomes 248 and 391 becomes 931 so we know that 931 is the highest and second highest so second highest is 862 862 so what he is asking difference yeah difference so take the subtraction so 9 so my ending should be 9 it can be 69 or 79 can't say so let's see 92 minus 86 it is 6 so our answer is option number 1 69 getting everyone okay then chalo let's go for the next question so i have bought three questions from this set let's see with respect to the next one 
So, what will be the resultant if the second digit of the lowest number? So, lowest number is 391 and this second digit is 9 is divided by divided by its first digit means the same numbers first digits. So, 391's first digit is 3. So, 9 by 3 the answer is 3 option number 2 right getting everyone. So, this is one of the concept that can be based on numerical series or number series which we can expect with respect to RRB clerical or PO exams right. So, chalo, let us go for the next kinds of question that can be asked. Yeah. So, here I have got one more question based on directions. So, see car n is 7 meter west of car y. Okay. So, always come in reverse we already know that. So, to the west of y by 7 meters n is present. So, we already know that north, south, east west ok. So, car n is 7 meter west of car y. So, west means this one. So, put y here to the west of y by 7 meters car n is present ok. Then car n is 15 meter north of car w. So, let me change the color car n is 15 meter north of car w. So, n is 15 meter north of car w. So, to the north of w n is there at a distance of 15 meters and 10 meter west of car c. So, 10 meters west of car c. So, here n is referring to the first person. So, who is the first person means n ok. So, n is 10 meter west of car c. So, let me change the color again. Yeah. So, to the west of C by 10 meters n is present. So, we know that up to here it is 7. So, 10 minus 7 remaining is 3. Okay. Then car A is 12 meter north of car K. I do not know where car K is present. So, we will ignore. So, let us go for the next color. Mm which is 20 meter east of car w. So, which is, so here which is reference referring to the person behind that, beside that. So, k is 20 meter east of w. So, here I have w. So, to the east of w, k is present at a distance of 20 meter. Okay. So, this total is 20. Up to here it is 10. Okay. Mm. Then now we can go for the previous point. Car A is 12 meter north of car K. Okay, change the color. So K to the north of K. Okay, let me take the eraser. Yeah. Yeah. To the north of K. A is present at a distance of 12 meter. Okay. Yeah. Fine. Then continue car A is to the south of car T, okay, which forms a straight line with respect to car Y, with car Y. So, which means T, T forms a straight line with respect to car Y, Y is here, okay. So, here T is present. So, car A is south of car T. So, to the south of car T, car A is present. So, this is what the final diagram that we have got, okay. So, we know that up to this it is 10. So, this will be 10. Why? Because pair lines will be sharing the same distance. So, if this is 12, this excess will be 3 provided total will be 15. Okay. Then anything else is missing? 7 plus 3, 10. 10 plus 10, 20. Right. Okay. The total is 20. So, look at first of all question. Car n is at what distance and in which direction with respect to car k? n is at what distance? and in which direction with respect to k ok n k ok. So, here is k and here is n. So, the distance between n k we already know that this is a right angle triangle right angle at w. So, see if I draw as a simple diagram. So, here this is n this is w and this is k. So, I need the distance between n and k. We know the distance between w and k the distance between w and k is 20 and the distance between n and w is 15. So, according to hypotenuse, uh, what do you say, Pythagoras theorem, hypotenuse square equals to side square plus side square. So, 
n k square equals to under root of k w square plus n w square. So k w square means 20 square which is nothing but 400 and then n k 15 square. So 15 square is 225. So under root 625 which is nothing but 25 kilometers or meters whatever it is. So this is what the distance. Okay. Now direction n is in which direction with respect to k n is in which direction with respect to k so from k i need to go till n so this is north direction and this is west direction so our answer is northwest so my final answer is 25 meters northwest so this is the answer for this particular question okay so i am putting the diagram as t is why because there are two other questions based on the same question right let's go for question number five so look at this particular question so what he is asking car w is in which direction with respect to t w which direction with respect to t means you need to start from t all the time and you need to travel till w remember that so t is here w is here so with respect to t so from t you need to go till w so from t i need to go to the bottom first means south and what is this direction west is the direction so, what will be your answer? Means you can say it is southwest. Simple. Right? Getting everyone? Then go for the last question in this particular terminology. Yeah. So, last question. So, see. So, look at this particular thing. Yeah. Mm, so, last question. Yeah. This is the last question. Which of the following combination of cars forms a rectangle? So we need a rectangle Y C A W. So where is Y? Y C A W. No, this is not a rectangle. T K C W. T K C W. No. N W A K. N W A K. Yes, of course. Then ntkw n t k w okay n w a k is that a rectangle n t a w no this is not a rectangle why because n w t k will be the rectangle okay why because a is little bit three meters far from t okay so our answer is option number four n t k w so this forms a rectangle in rectangle remember the basic concept is opposite sides are always equal okay so chalo let's go for the next model of question that can be asked so here we have got one question based on arrangement okay so let's look at this arrangement and what he is asking so disha emma fiza guru hina payal joshi ravi so total we have one two three four five six seven eight people are seated in a straight line but not necessarily in the same order okay so some of them are facing south while some of them are facing north so this particular question comes under seating arrangement which is basically line arrangement so we have eight people one two three four five six seven eight so some are facing south while some are facing north so we already know that if the persons are facing north this is towards left and this is towards right depend on the direction of the arrow Similarly, if the same purple are facing towards south, this is left and this is right, this is depending upon the direction of the arrow. Okay. So, first let us see based on which point we will start by reading each and every sentence individually. Okay. Do not blindly start by using first point, not necessary. You can just go through the content once and then go through with respect to the point based on which we can start. Okay. So, Guru faces south direction. So, from this we know the direction of Guru. So, Guru faces south direction. Okay. Let me change the color such that it will be easy for us to differentiate. Okay. Then Disha sits fourth left of pile. Pile sits at one of the extreme end of the line. I think we can start by using this point. So pile sits at one of the extreme end of the line. Means that can be towards left end or towards right end. So to the left of pile, Disha should be there. Fine. Then both the immediate neighbors of Disha are facing north. So, so we have con connectivity here. Emma sits second left of Ravi. Okay, Ravi is not neighbor of Disha, fine. Neither Ravi nor Fiza sits at extreme end of the line. F 
Fiza faces the opposite direction of Guru. So we already know that Guru is facing south implies Fiza should face north according to the information. Both the immediate neighbors of Fiza are facing north. Hina sits immediate left of Joshi. Immediate neighbor of Guru face opposite directions means if one neighbor faces north, the other neighbor faces south, etc. Okay, so that is what you mean by opposite directions. Okay, then mm, immediate neighbor of Emma face opposite direction, same. Okay, immediate neighbors of Guru and Emma face opposite direction. So here we are not bothered with respect to directions of those people. We are supposed to get the information from the neighbors only. Okay, then uh, last point people sitting at extreme end face opposite directions. So this is what the point is. So we already saw that we can start by using this particular point. So what is that point? Pile sits at one of the extreme ends. So pile can be at left end or pile can be at right end. We can't say definitely. Okay. So let's continue. Disha sits fourth left of pile. Okay. So Disha sits fourth left of pile. Pile. One, two, three, four. So who is present here? Disha. So if this is towards left, means pile should face south direction. See, there will be two possibilities. Already I have said. So similarly, pile 1, 2, 3, 4. Who is present here? Disha. So pile can face south or pile can face north. Why? Because if north, then only this is towards left side. So if I use the last point, people sitting at extreme and face opposite direction. So here, one extreme end is pile facing north, the other extreme end is this person should face south. Here, one extreme end is pile south means the other extreme end this person should face north according to the information. Okay, then Disha sits fourth left of pile, pile sits at one of them. Both the immediate neighbors of Disha are facing north. Okay, so immediate neighbors means left as well as right. So Disha is here in this possibility. So these two are facing north. Similarly, in the bottom possibility, Disha, these are the immediate neighbors and they are facing north direction. Okay, then continue. Emma sits second left of Ravi. Ravi is not neighbor of Disha. Okay, fine. So, Ravi is not neighbor of Disha. So, Ravi is not neighbor of Disha. So, let's see where I can place Ravi. Okay, mm, Emma sits second left of Ravi. Ravi, I cannot place here. Why? Because Ravi is not at an extreme end of the line. So, Ravi, 1, 2, no chance. Ravi, 1, 2, no chance. Why? Because already Disha is placed here. Ravi is not neighbor of Disha. No way. Ravi, not neighbor of Disha. No way. Ravi, this is north. Okay. So, Emma sits second left of Ravi. So, if I place Ravi here, left means this side. First left, second left. Emma, no chance. So, put Ravi here. Ravi, why because the other possibilities doesn't work. So Ravi, 1, 2, no chance. Ravi, 1, 2. So here you can put Emma. If this is towards left of Ravi, means Ravi should face which direction? North direction. If Ravi faces north, this will be towards left side. Okay. Similarly, let's go according to this possibility. Ravi cannot be at end. Okay. Ravi, 1, 2, no chance. Ravi, 1, 2, already Disha is placed here. Ravi cannot come here, Ravi cannot come here also. So Ravi, 1, 2, no chance. Ravi, 1, 2, no chance. So there is only one possibility. Put Ravi here. Ravi, 1, 2, no chance. Ravi, 1, 2. So here you can put who? Emma. If this is towards left of Ravi, means Ravi should face south direction. Okay? Yeah, fine. Then continue. Mm, Ravi is not neighbor of Tisha, neither Ravi not. Fiza faces opposite direction of Guru. Okay, fine. Both the immediate neighbor of Fiza faces north. So Fiza north, but here there is south. I cannot put Fiza north north. You can put Fiza north north. You can put. Similarly, Fiza no way. Fiza south no chance. Fiza north north. We can put. Fiza, North North chance. So there are many possibilities. Let's see. Hina sits immediate left of Joshi. Okay. So Joshi 
immediate left of Joshi Hina fine you can put Joshi Hina Hina okay no chance why because I need two consecutive places there is only one place left mm, Hina no way Hina Joshi Hina Joshi Hina chances are there okay so let's see any other point we have mm, immediate neighbor of Guru face opposite directions okay so immediate neighbor of Emma faces opposite directions fine people sitting at extreme end of the line face opposite direction so only one point by using that point we need to start so what is that point means we can say mm, Hina sits immediate left of Joshi okay so let me put Joshi here Joshi immediate left who is present Hina okay so this is towards left of Joshi right then we already know that Guru is facing south and Fiza is facing north so these are the only two places left put Fiza here and put Guru here and Guru is facing south we already know so by using this point we will go with respect to the top possibility again so if I put Joshi here Joshi immediate left who is present Hina so we already again know that Fiza is facing north and Guru is facing south so put Fiza here and put Guru here and we already know that Guru is facing south direction okay so I think we have got all the persons according to both the possibilities okay both are same only but this is from left to right and this is from right to left that's it okay so just to see whether we are getting any directions or not okay so immediate neighbor of Guru are facing opposite directions so one of neighbor of Guru is Ravi facing south the other immediate neighbor Emma is facing north same no issue so one of neighbor of Guru is Ravi facing north the other immediate neighbor Emma is facing also north so by using this point we can eliminate okay so look at that point immediate neighbors of guru face opposite directions immediate neighbors of guru face opposite directions so one of neighbor of guru is Ravi facing north the other immediate neighbor Emma is also facing north so that means we can eliminate this possible So let's go ahead with respect to this possibility and already we know that both the immediate neighbors of Fiza are facing north. So Fiza immediate neighbors are Disha and Hina. So these both are facing north direction. So I think I have got all the person's direction also. So check once. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yes, exact. So this is my exact answer with respect to the possibility that we have got with respect to these kinds of questions okay yeah Chalo. i hope it is uh, uh, clearly understandable for you okay Chalo. let's go for the next question yeah so next question i have bought from inequalities so just look at that question what he is saying so here options will be only one is true only two is true either or neither nor both one and okay so first conclusion he is asking between g and a so g a G D H I J A B C D E F. So check for the connecting point. So do we have any connecting point between G and A? So here I have got D is the connecting point in between these two. So what is the relation between A and D? So we already know that these are the priority levels. So these are the priority levels with respect to the symbols. Remember that. So out of these three which is having the highest priority greater than or equals to equals to greater than or equals to greater than or equals to equals to greater than or equals to so greater than or equals to is having the highest priority so a is greater than or equals to d so from the first expression we know that g is equals to d so g equals to d or d equals to g both are same so out of these two which is having the highest priority same greater than or equals to so a greater than or equals to g in reverse g less than or equals to a that is what first conclusion says so first one will be true definitely okay yeah then go with the next one f and i so what is the connecting point d is the connecting point again f and i in between these two so what is the relation between d and f out of these two less than equals to so less than equals to so which is having the highest priority less than so d is less than f okay then with respect to f and i so i need i so d i same symbol same priority so d greater than i if i make it reverse i less than d 
so what is the relation between i and f i less than f if i make it reverse f is greater than i so that's what second conclusion say so what is our answer for this particular set means you can say both 1 and 2 are true whatever the symbol we have got and whatever the symbol it is given both are same accordingly with respect to the statements right clear everyone so chalo let's go for the next question so make sure that these priority levels are very very important so question number 12 so look at this particular question and uh, let's try to solve these kinds of questions also so u so generally if i write u e d f b x l d g m p o n s why i am writing means in order to connect so first conclusion he is asking between n and f n is here f is here so can you connect u e d f b p o n s x l d g m any connection between n and f can you find out o p s you cannot find in any of the statements so first conclusion you can say it is definitely false why because i cannot connect means i cannot say what is the exact relation between these two right then go with the second one m and f so how you can connect m and f so m is here f is here so m you can connect with d and d you can connect with f we already know the priorities greater greater or equals equals to less less or equals equal by using this so what is the relation between d and m less than or equals to equals to means less than or equals is having the highest priority so d is less than or equals to m similarly the relation between f and d d is greater than or equals to f if i make it reverse f is less than or equals to d you can make it in a forward or backward doesn't matter so what is the relation between f and f f and m f is less than or equals to m if you make it reverse m is greater than or equals to f that is what given in second conclusion so what is our answer for this particular set means we can say only two follows according to the statement okay then let me go for the third question let's see how third question can be dealt so apply the same concept w e d x c q j d g k k o v s right so look at first one w and q by regular practice just by seeing you can answer the respective question that comes just by practice w q so w is here in the first expression q is here so the connecting point is d is the connecting point okay so what is the relation between w and d from the first expression greater than equals to so greater than is having the highest value so w is greater than d then q d out of these two which is having the highest priority less than so q is less than d make it reverse d is greater than q so what is the relation between w and q means you can say w is greater than q so first one simply becomes true similarly k c so c is here k is here k o v s q j d g k so here also you have k so you can connect d with c and d with k simple okay so you need not go for the third expression directly you can go for first and second so what is the relation between d and k according to the second expression less than or equals to equals to less than or equals to is having the highest priority so d is less than or equals to k then d c in between d and c you can find opposite symbols opposite symbol means no result what do you mean by opposite symbols greater than greater than greater than less than greater than equals to less than or equals to less than or equals to greater than or equals to whenever the symbols are opposite in nature it directly leads to no result no result means whatever the conclusion comes so simply make it as false okay so what will be our answer for this particular question means we can say only one follows according to the statement right so chalo let's go with respect to next question so look at this question g e f a b g d so first conclusion in between a and f g is the connecting point so the relation between a and g is a is greater than g okay just a moment yeah 
so a and g is a is greater than g the relation between g and f is g is greater than f so what is the relation between a and f a is greater than f so first one true simple second one b d in between b and d the symbols are opposite false so what is our answer only one follows simple okay then let's go for the last question in this particular concept of inequalities p o r q okay let me write just for your understanding p o r u q c e r z x o v so see how you can connect q and z so q is here z is here how you can connect q c e r okay p o r z x o okay so z is connected with o o is connected with r r is connected with q directly you can connect so q r the relation between q and r out of these three symbols which is having the highest priority greater than or equal to so q is greater than or equal to r then o equals to r or, or equal to o both are same simple then z and o z is less than o in reverse o is greater than z so out of these three symbols greater than or equals to equals to greater than so greater than is having the highest priority so q is greater than z so first one false second one first one true second one false so what is our answer only one follows why not two follows means already we have got the relation the relation between o q and z is greater than not equals to so greater than is different equals to is different that's why we are going to say it as false okay yeah then chalo let's go with the next one so next concept i think it is based on data sufficiency so data sufficiency is one of the chapter where we can score maximum so here we are supposed to say whether the data is sufficient to say the answer or not okay so look at the question who is oldest among e n h o so e n h o four people are there out of four people who is the oldest then look at the first point o is sister of h okay o and h o is sister of h and she is older than means o is older than e and h e h not necessary to be like this it can be like this also right because in between h and e we don't know who is big and who is small okay so total there are four people but by using statement 1 i can say that there are only three people and the fourth person n is missing so by using statement 1 i cannot answer the question okay so let's go for second n is brother of o he is younger than h but not to e n is brother of o n is less than h younger means less or you can say h is greater than okay but not to e but refers to the first person n n is not younger and compared with respect to e means n is older than e same here also by using statement 2 we have got only three people but total there are four people and he is asking oldest oldest i cannot say definitely why because there are only three people out of four so by using individual statements i am not getting so that's why what i am doing is i am clubbing both one and two if i club both one and two h n e so e h n this doesn't work out h n e why because n is younger when compared with h and n is older when compared with e so the combination becomes o h n e by clubbing both one and two okay so who is the oldest means i can definitely say that o is the oldest how you came to know that o is the oldest means by clubbing both one and two so what will be your answer means both one and two are sufficient to get the answer okay so chalo let's see four more questions based on this particular concept data sufficiency very easy and very important also okay so let's go for next question so look at this question 
I am angry today. Uh, how is angry written in a certain code language? Okay, so I am angry today. So this question comes under coding and decoding. Today, angry day. So there are two words in common: angry today, angry today. So I cannot say what is the exact code for angry. Why? Right? Because he is asking for angry. So one not sufficient. Two. I play hockey. Do I have any keyword like angry in the second statement? Means no. So two is also not sufficient. So basically, both one and two are not sufficient. But if I club one and two, I will be getting only one keyword, which is nothing but I. But I don't want for I. I want for what? Angry. So what will be our answer? Means both. One and two are not sufficient to get the answer. Very easy. Okay, getting everyone. Then, chalo, let's go for the next question. So, look at this. One of the other concept based on coding and decoding, especially substitution coding. What is the color of human teeth? We know that human teeth will be white in color. Okay. So, according to first statement, green is called black, black is called blue, blue is called red. There is no white. So, one. Not sufficient. Go for two. Red is called white. White is called orange. So white is called orange. Yes, based on statement two, we can answer. So what will be your answer for this particular question? Means we can say only two is sufficient to get the answer. Okay. Then, chalo, let's go for next question. So look at the last question of the day. Among M N D P K. Who earns more than only the least earner among them? Okay, that means who is second least? He is asking. Okay, N earns less than M. And indirectly, M earns more than M and P, but more than D. But refers to the first person N. N earns more than D. Okay, so if I make it in a simple step, M. D, N, P, okay. N earns less than M, okay. And P, N earns less than M and P, okay, okay. So let's look at this again. Means N is less than M, P. Means M and P are more than N. Okay, that's what the indirect meaning. For. But more than D, but refers to the first person Yen. Yen earns more than D. Okay, then total we have five people. I have got only three people. One, two, three, four. Means in between N and P, we don't know who is uh, more and who is less. Okay, then by using second statement, let's see. Yen earns more than P. Who earns more than K? So who earns more than K? P earns more than K. So this was the second statement. So by using these two statements, am I getting the information correctly? Means no. Okay. So club these two. M, P. How about K? Where should I put K? P earns more than K. K, N, D. So K not necessary that it should come here. It can come here also, or it can come here also. Means there will be different combinations like M P K N D or M P N K D means K can shift ahead or M P N D K. All the statements will be satisfying according to these things. So by getting by clubbing one and two, I am getting any exact answer. Who is the who earns more than the only least earner among them? So as I said, second least. Okay. So can I say exactly who is the second least? No, I cannot say. So what is our answer? Means we can say both one and two are not sufficient to say the answer. Okay. So these kinds of questions can be dealt in this particular manner. Okay. So from this particular session, I am ending by using these examples. So in the next session, we will discuss a few more examples based on RRB, Regional Rural Banks questions. Right? Thank you, everyone. Keep visiting our channel, 
and keep sharing and keep subscribing thank you everyone thank you